Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, my name is David Popovich, aka The Bookworm, and welcome to Bookworm Reviews. Today, we are concluding Newberry Month, and to end it, I wanted to look at one of the most recent winners that's about finding oneself, friendship, animal rights, and hope, all through the eyes of a gorilla and by the author of the Animorph series. If you are from the 90s, you know that's a big deal. So sit back and relax as we end Newberry Month with the winner of 2013, The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. He's a real nowhere man Sitting in his nowhere land Making all Ivan is a gorilla. It's not as easy as it looks. He's lived at the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade for 9,872 days. Life is pretty simple in his domain with his friends Stella, an elderly elephant, Bob, a stray dog, and Judy, a human child, barely remembering his life in the jungle. Until he meets Ruby, a baby elephant that changes everything Ivan once knew, opening his eyes as he makes a promise to give Ruby and himself a better life. The story of Ivan is about finding oneself. Ivan in the beginning of the book is very content with his life. He lives day by day without much thought about what his life was like in the jungle. He's lived so long with humans that it's the only life he's ever known. My life is flashing lights and pointing fingers and uninvited visitors. Inches away, humans flatten their little hands against the wall of glass that separates us. The glass says, you are this and we are that and that is how it will always be. Until he meets Ruby, a baby elephant whose family was killed and sold to Mac, the Exit 8 circus owner, to bring in more customers. It is through Ruby that Ivan truly sees what is wrong with the enclosure he's in, making a promise for his old best friend Stella, an elderly elephant with an injured leg that isn't getting any better. I'll give you two guesses what happens to her. I hope you have tissues ready. The promise is simple but one that at first sounds impossible. You want me to take care of Ruby. Stella nods, a small gesture that makes her wince. If she could have a life that's different from mine. She needs a safe place, Ivan. Not, not here, I say. At first, Ivan doesn't know how to fulfill his promise until he remembers Stella talking about a zoo, which she explains is a place where humans make amends. It is then that Ivan works day and night, working on a plan to get Ruby and himself to live a better life. The book is actually based on a real gorilla named Ivan that spent almost three decades without seeing another of his kind. He would later get rescue and spend the rest of his days in the Atlanta Zoo. The whole book itself is fiction, but it's through this truth that Catherine Applegate would create this amazing story. This is a simple story designed with young readers in mind, which, duh, Newberry book. Which for some people might be a turnoff cuz I'm a good But the book carries a profound truth that will knock your emotions around like a punching bag, which is one of the biggest reasons I love children's books. The book is a very easy read that you can knock out within an afternoon, no problem but its message is one that you will think about long after you put it down. Along with interesting characters like Mac, while the villain of the book isn't portrayed as the stereotypical bad guy who only cares about the money. He's just a man that's really crappy with taking care of animals. He is by no means good, but he isn't evil incarnate. He's only human. The other characters, from Bob being a lovable scamp to the human characters Julia and George caring about the animals, rounds out a small but memorable cast, all in their own way helping Ivan and Ruby find a better life. There is a great quote in the beginning of the book by George Eliot, It is never too late to be what you might have been. And that quote echoes throughout the entire book, as we see Ivan beginning to remember his past and discovering the real him. I am, I suppose, a peaceful sort. Mostly I watch the world go by and think about naps and bananas and yogurt raisins. But inside me, hidden, is another Ivan. 
leading to an edge of your seat emotional roller coaster ride to find a way to save Ruby. The book is simple, but the one and only Ivan is a great, heartfelt read that will pull on your heartstrings and fill you with joy with how it ends. In the end, this is a great book that you should make the time to read, adult or not. What about you, Internet? What's your opinion about the one and only Ivan? Well, next week is the big one. My one year anniversary of bookworm reviews. So what book should I do? Like that's even a question. Till next time. Have a nice day.